Okay, so I have what I believe is a crane fly, which somebody I really wanted a picture of one of these guys now that I'm uh oh. Good morning everybody. Back out here. Do a little more insect macro photography. Last video I used a telephoto lens with some extension tubes and I was looking online, spotted these close-up filters, Vivitar close-up filters for only eight bucks. They were on sale. So I couldn't help to think if an eight dollar close-up filter would actually be any good to add to this kit. So I went ahead and I made the purchase and I got it on here today. So it's the 40 to 150 telephoto lens, the Olympus telephoto lens, two extension tubes and the plus 10 Vivitar close-up filter. It did come with four of the filters, a plus one, a plus two, a plus four, and a plus ten. I'm only going to use the plus ten, and we're just going to see what happens. So I got my son with me today to help me spot the insects, and he's, before I even started filming, he's already spotted one. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some photos and share them with you guys. Okay, so I found the perfect subject to start with. It's just a little snail, and it's right up on top of a piece of grass so it's easy to get to so see what we can get out of this I can already tell the uh, focusing distance is much closer than without the close-up filter and looking at the back of my camera it seems like the only sharp part of the photo is really just the the center of the photo all the rest of it's pretty cloudy so I'm gonna go ahead and take off the filter now and take a few more pictures and see if that's the filter doing that and if it is I probably won't even bother using the filter then oh yeah so that's definitely the close-up filter. It's, so basically the centermost part of the photo is relatively sharp, I should say. It's, it's even the center part's not super sharp. But that basically all the outside of the photo is, is just cloudy. It's not even sharp. So I'll go ahead and I'll put both of those up now. I'll put the one with the close-up filter up first so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then I'll put the one I took with the close-up filter off. And you can see how more of the image is actually sharp. And uh, for the rest of the video, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it off because I'm just I'm not happy with the quality of it. So let's go. I think he's found another grasshopper. I'm going to go check this out, and uh, we'll see what else we can find. Oh, he's already getting ready to jump away. So my son's found a grasshopper here, and he's, I'm not sure he's going to stay. He's already looking like he's going to jump, but we're going to go ahead and try to get him anyway. He's actually peeking his head out from behind the uh, leaf. I think that was keeping him from jumping away, and uh, oh wow. I think it's actually making for a really interesting photo. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that one up now. And we're going to move on and keep looking. So I'm still next to that other grasshopper and I found another little baby one. I'm going to go ahead and see if it will let me uh, get a shot here just before we move on. Yep, he actually stayed still for me, so hopefully, out of all those photos, I got a sharp one. Oh yeah, there we go. We got some nice ones there. Uh, 
All right, so I have what looks like a some type of a bee. Oh wow, there's actually a few of them over here. But we're gonna see if this guy will let me get close enough. I don't know what this is, so if anybody knows what this is and can let me know in the comments. He started uh <laughs> He started pumping his stinger as I was trying to get that picture of him. So I'm pretty sure I got a good shot of him though. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up now and then uh leave him alone. Um, I've already got enough mosquito bites, I don't need to get a sting too. Um, but it, I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of a wasp. So if anybody knows what that is, please let me know because I am trying to learn all of these insects. All right, so it's another grasshopper. But we're not finding a whole lot right now, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get a picture of this guy. Even though I feel like I've gotten enough grasshoppers already. This one does have a stripe down its back, makes it a little more interesting. I'll go ahead and put that one up now. We're going to keep going around and looking, and it just seems like this is going to be a grasshopper day. That seems to be mostly what we're finding. Okay, so I have what I believe is a crane fly, which somebody told me in one of the last comments in my last video because i actually wasn't sure what it was so i am attempting to find it right there i'm at the longest focal length so i don't scare it away oh crap of course the flash goes to sleep on me all right now I'm gonna zoom in. Something tells me he's gonna fly away, but I really wanted a picture of one of these guys now that I know what it is. So we are going to attempt to get closer, stay there, don't move. Well, he didn't move on me. Uh oh Oh, my shutter speed went up on me. No. So my shutter speed went up on me. Now when my shutter speed goes up, I only get half the screen. Um Yeah, so sometime between when I took a picture of that grasshopper and now I accidentally changed my shutter speed. All right, so I got it back. No, 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 come on. No, no, no. Ah. Well, that's going to be a bummer if I don't get this picture just because I accidentally changed the shutter speed. So he moved right over there. I'm going to kind of give him some space and try to get back around to the other side of him. Oh, now he's gone. He's way over there now. So that crane fly went over here. Quite a distance. I'm going to still see if I can get a photo of him. I don't know if I'll even be able to find him again, but... Oh, there he is. I spotted him. Make sure my shutter speed is correct this time. <laughs> He's already, he's just, he's getting jumpy now. He's already gonna, gonna move. Maybe I can get, maybe I can get one before he flies off.
All right, well, there's a couple. They're not great, because I was at the long focal length. So I've switched now, and we're gonna we're gonna see if he'll let us get close again. Well, there you have it. You let me get close. We did get some photos of him. Pretty decent one too. Might even be able to focus stack a couple. All right, so I'm gonna call this one here. Bunch of grasshoppers. I did get the crane fly. Uh, mosquitoes are basically draining us, us of our blood. So we're gonna go have to get some liquids in us. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed those photos. Please subscribe to the video. Uh, please like the video, it helps out tremendously. Um, again, this was the telephoto lens, the 40 to 150 with two extension tubes. I did try the close up filter, I just didn't like it very quickly. Didn't like it, took it off. Um, and I, got, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.